Hello everyone. It is time for the end of the year, time for reflection, and time for me to do a few changes around here to make things better. Um, change is always a little scary, but I, I promise you these will all be fun, good changes. Um, I've been thinking a lot about what this channel is, and my goal really is to learn and then pass what I've learned on to you all. And so I want to do more of that in the coming year. And first off, thank you all for being around, for watching these videos, for tuning into the, to the live streams and asking questions and talking and so forth and, and engaging. Um, I learn a lot from you all, uh, and this is why I'm doing all this. So let's talk about what I want to, what I want to do in 2019. And you can get, obviously, the, sort of the precy over here. Uh, Drawing in will we'll be coming back Monday evenings as before. Uh, should be about the same time slot. Don't see a reason to change that. Uh, this time I'm going to be focusing in on designing characters for and drawing a comic, manga style comic. And so the first few episodes will be about figuring out exactly what the, the plan will be for that. I think it's important for that for me to do that on camera, to not think about a lot of stuff ahead of time and then come and say, okay, I've, I've planned it all out. I want you to see my planning process, um, such as it is. Uh, I want you to see me plan that out so that that's also something you can hopefully learn from. Workshop and World Building Wednesdays will be coming back on Wednesdays, but alternating now. So one week will be making something and then the other week will be a world building video. Uh, I think that will make it a little easier for me to uh, produce the world building um, episodes because I'll have uh, you know, just things a little more organized in my head and then also workshop I can sort of prep for that. Uh, the workshop videos are going to be moving away from electronics projects uh, and I think if you saw any of the electronics projects you'll understand why. They're so dependent on having all the components ready to go and if any of them fail or don't work the way you expect it kind of drags the entire thing to a halt. So I'm going to be focusing more on making stuff um, like I want to do uh, making custom t-shirts, um, uh, doing stuff like molding and, uh, and, and woodworking, things along those lines, stuff that's a, a little more forgiving in that sense. But, but I think it'll be more interesting to, to dig into and, and learn how to do. I want to like make clothes and see what it's like to actually make something you'd, you'd wear. Um, uh, and then just other weird geeky stuff as I come along. I have some uh, board games I want to build. Uh, generally wooden board games, so that'll be fun to experiment with. That's a plan there, and then the world building videos are going to be a little more um, about flavor. I, I feel like the videos I've done so far on world building have been more uh, fundamental, where they're setting up the foundational pillars of your world, um, you know, how society basically functions, whereas these videos are going to get more into how... Um, uh, how to specialize your world in a, in a sense, how to make it really feel very unique, um, and also how to think through elements that might be controversial, people might get um, upset by potentially, and how to address those things. Um, stuff like slavery, for example, which is often a feature of fantasy worlds. So we'll talk about some of those aspects that can be uh, um, um, just a little more controversial um, or otherwise just more flavorful for those worlds. The Saturday Anime Club, um, actually, we're going to start this, uh, this is coming up Saturday. We're going to watch the first six episodes of Madoka Magica. So instead of four episodes, we're going to watch six. Six. And we're actually going to watch the first six episodes this Saturday, and then the next Saturday we're going to watch the next six episodes. So we're going to finish out all of Madoka Magica over the next couple of weeks. And I'm kind of testing that out because I want to see if A, three, three hours on a Saturday kind of makes sense for me, if I can kind of rearrange things to make that work. And I also want to see if folks stick around for, uh, for that. Um, you know, I, I don't need 100 people there watching every minute of it, but I just want to see if that kind of works, if people are willing to, to stick around um, and just what happens as a result of that. So assuming that works reasonably well, then that's going to be the pattern moving into 2019, where we're going to watch entire anime series instead of just the first four episodes. Uh, we're going to go all the way through them, just six episodes a week, um, six episodes every Saturday. Uh, we'll probably start with Ergo Proxy, because I really like that. 
Now, the other tweak there is that that's going to have to start in February. I'm going to be at three conventions in January, so I just cannot be doing the anime club on a Saturday afternoon where I will probably be literally standing in front of people you know, lecturing about anime at that point. So uh, anime club will have to go on hiatus throughout January, and then we'll start back up in February. The Friday anime stream, I'm going to keep pretty much the same. I really uh, like and I think it works that it's just a casual conversation. I think that just is a, is a very effective pattern for that, for whatever reason. Um, I would like to, to come up with topics ahead of time and, and do that, but I haven't been able to find the right pattern for that yet. Um, but uh, So yeah, I, I would kind of like to have a, an idea going in as to what we want to talk about. So we'll figure all that out. Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to throw them at me. I am thinking of doing like a monthly Q&A stream uh, for the Friday anime stream. So like once a month on Fridays, uh, gather in a bunch of different questions folks have, uh, you know, kind of offline, as well as canvas the internet for stuff folks are talking about on like the anime subreddit and on ANN and, and Mal forums and such. Uh, and just sort of collate a bunch of questions and also answer questions obviously live in the chat room I always do I think that it would just be kind of interesting to talk about the zeitgeist and such so we'll see but in general the Friday stream is just going to stay this uh, free-form conversational thing so those are the streams let me talk about the pre-recorded videos I want to make um, I want to do more archaeology more actual geek archaeology I want to dig into some creators you may not have heard of and that do interesting stuff. Manga creators, anime creators, sci-fi and fantasy authors, um, folks who are just kind of interesting and worth knowing about. I want to do videos about that stuff. Uh, I also want to dig into animation and talk about what makes high quality animation. I would love to do a series, and I've, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what form this will take, but basically helping people to see animation, to recognize when animation is wonky when it is naturalistic when it's stylized all those different aspects of of animation as a mechanical process if you will um so i want to kind of dive more into that which means fewer like anime reviews i still want to do them but i don't think we're gonna i'm gonna get into too much about those the the flip side to that the upside is that when I do reviews they're going to be more in depth um, so I'll actually be able to dive into something because it's not going to be something I have to churn out a new review every week I can really think about and spend the time on uh, those those analyses uh, and I'm also working on a, a new format for reviews where it's basically two halves spoiler free review in the first half and then a big spoiler alert and then analysis and talk about what actually happened in there in the last half for those who've seen it and want to dive in so we'll see I've been doing that on the blog with a couple of uh, of recent reviews so if you want to get an idea for that format go there it's all text um, but yeah I want to dig more into that stuff so I would like you all to let me know in the discord or in the comments below um, what kind of topics you'd like me to dig into again it can be people it can be genres that you want to know more about it can be periods of, of history anime and otherwise. And again, this is geek archaeology. So it doesn't have to be just anime, um, although anime is kind of my specialty. But uh, I can talk science fiction and fantasy and lots of other stuff. Um, I've been thinking about doing more Dungeons and Dragons related content, uh, you know, more RPG stuff. It would be actually kind of fun to do some kind of sort of crowdsourced D&D thing. We'll see. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm, I'm going with, with that stuff. I want to dig deeper into some of those topics. So let me know if there's things you want me to cover. Um, so those are the main things I want to do in 2019. Um, I am going to, uh, I am looking for some stretch goals. Um, I do want to do, uh, to try to, to do edited versions of the workshop videos. So basically pass off the, uh, a workshop Wednesday video to somebody else to edit down into a condensed version. Kind of like Adam Savage's One Day Builds on Tested, where it's just, you know, the, the condensed version of that thing where the the full video is still available but if you just want the you know 10 minute version of it you can get that um again i'm not promising that but i, I want to i'm, I'm going to explore that as an option 
Um, what would be caveats about this? Uh, obviously, I do, you have these conventions coming up in January and a few others throughout the, the year, so I will probably miss a week here and there, uh, you know, and with any of these live streams, I probably won't do drawing any word every single Monday. There'll be a, an occasional Monday where I just have to drop out. Um, but I'm going to try to stick to that schedule. Um, so it's not going to be like every other week, it's just, but it's every, every so often. Uh, also, um, and so I will, I'll also do a separate video on those conventions I'll be coming to, so you can let me know. Uh, you can hopefully stop by. Um, also, another big caveat, my full-time job, I'm a, I teach programming as my full-time job, and that's going to be changing around somewhat in the new year. Um, we, we're bringing in a new curriculum. We've got a new set of students. Uh, and so just the what I'll be doing is going to be different at work, and I'm going to be involved in uh, uh, looking at, a new set of curriculum and figuring that out and and processing it, if you will. So it's going to require a little more work than I've had to do in this job for a while. So I, I may end up with more responsibilities at my new job as the year goes on, uh, which may impact some of these things. We'll see. I've, I've tried to make sure that all of these, uh, all the things I do are at least well outside of my work hours. So if I do have to work an extra hour or two late at work, it's not going to prevent me from getting home in time to start a stream. But if I worked a 12-hour day, it's going to be really hard for me to come home. Even if I have, technically have the time, I may just be mentally exhausted. So you know, caveat, I just don't know how much that's going to impact things. It might not have any impact at all. I hope not. Uh, but I just want to let you know that just in case things uh, get a little, little less stable as, things, as time goes on. Um, so that's it. That's where things are going to be changing, uh, what I'm going to be doing hopefully here uh, soon in 2019. So Drawing Inward is back. Uh, Workshop Wednesday and World Building Wednesday are back, just alternating. Um, Saturday Anime Club expanding a little bit. Friday Stream, pretty much the same. And then more deep dives in the pre-recorded videos. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, that's it. I hope this is something that you all are as excited about as I am. Uh, that you're going to see more fun, interesting stuff from the channel, stuff that will will help you all become, you know, more informed fans and can help you find interesting stuff and and uh, and just learn more. You know, learning is awesome. So that's the plan. Hope this is uh, uh, useful and so forth. And thank you all for being part of this. Again, I do this because you all are here and you all are are consuming and uh, and listening. You know, if I was just shouting into the void, I'd stop. So I just really appreciate having folks actually paying attention. And uh, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go off and uh, do some more planning for the new year. Um, again, Anime Club will be going on a hiatus in January, but otherwise this stuff will be spinning up in January. Um, perhaps not exactly the first week of January because you're coming back from New Year's and so forth. Um, but uh, early January, we'll, we'll be starting uh, all sorts of, of new fun stuff. So yeah, thanks all very much. Take care. See you.